I believe it looks good. You're looking all kinds of sexy right now, so I don't know, man. Uh, Scott, <laughs> talking about yourself over there. All right, can you guys uh, can you guys comment and let us know if it's still frozen or what's going on? What up, everyone? You, Kirsty says we're good. If I can get a couple more positive comments about our stream then we can get going the hell yeah so you're vacationing right now in st augustine the oldest Man, city the in fuck? the united states what the fuck am i doing bro i'm uh i got away from dc as uh fast as possible man i'm just too much craziness up north and i'm 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 in a me different mental headspace down here just kicking it dude after a crazy couple months me and my me and my girlfriend are down here so you know taking it easy right on man yeah. Okay, so everyone says that the uh, the video and the audio is good, so we're we're ready to rock. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Man, so uh, what do you what have you been up to? Like, I know you're working on that new album, or and that new album's dropping, bro. I got the release date last night. Um, it's dropping in February. Can 100% say that? That's awesome. That's the first time I've said anything. Is right here, right now. What? Just saying, on the on the underground root stream. But um, yeah, album's dropping in February. We're doing a virtual album release show, uh, which we're filming at a really nice sound studio. Back when I get home in uh, in about a week or two, and uh, yeah, really excited for everyone to hear this. It's it's totally different from our last album, Scuffed, and We've been working on this album, I mean, for only six months, really, but the amount of work and time and money we put into this project has been everything, like, it's it's been a little soul draining, but it's been awesome, man. That's how I want it to be. I want to make sure, you know, our best work is being put forth, and I truly believe that with this next project, so I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, if everything was sunshine and rainbows, where would the good music come out of? True as fuck, man. True as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> man, so... uh I'm going to check comments real quick. Do you guys want to hear uh, Josh play something? Probably. I think they do. Yeah. I, got it. I can play something. Yeah. You got a I guitar will... in your hand. You might as well fucking play something. Jeez. I might as well do What's it. What's taking you so long? Fuck. <laughs> All right. I'm going to um, I'm gonna go ahead and do Pink Velvet. It's an old, old tune that a lot of J.O. fans know. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right on. Looking all around, spirit feels unsound. Try to find why my life is a bore. Looking, but I can't see what's been killing me. Try to find an answer to the question.
fly and grab that she when he's in your sight. Look to your left, look to your right and grab that she when he's in your sight. I've got whoa, whoa, oh, yeah. I almost forgot you were there. <laughs> Pink never looks so sexy, man. <laughs> so you got this like fixation with Guy Fieri. Can you talk about that real quick? Man, so when I was like 17 and just started the band, we we're playing a lot of house parties and shit around in the Baltimore area. And we would always hit up this one diner afterwards and, you know, waste most of our pay on shitty diner food um but it was great man i love late night diner food always have we're just big diner fans you know so when i wrote the dumbest song ever diner dumb which, which is like one of our most popular songs um i was like all right we gotta have guy fieri in it somehow and then ever since then i've just been like on a quest to meet him like it's gonna happen it's, it's gonna happen and i know it is it's just a matter of when but um i'm slowly inching at every restaurant he's been to in my travels so that's a, I'm coming for Guy, and it's going to be a glorious day when I can post a picture of me and Guy on Instagram. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to support you 100% on that, for sure. Man. Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah. Do, do you remember when you were here and I, I made you guys mozzarella sticks? Dude, <laughs> I remember every meal you've ever made for me, ever, <laughs> uh, because it's been the greatest. Um, Scott, I've known Scott for, what, probably now for four or five years? Three, four years, yeah. Something like that. First time I ever met you, you flew into Baltimore for a um, festival, High Tops Fest. That yep. was the first time I met you. Knew you from Facebook. And then you opened your home up to us in Chicago. Very, very thankful for that, man. And then you've always cooked us amazing food. Dude, you had a J.O. taco bar one time. Bro. Oh, yeah, the that taco bar. You know what a the funny burgers, story about that, that, man. Sticks, all that <laughs> shit, bro. Just, Scott, you're amazing, dude. And I, I'm so happy to be um, a part of the ride of Underground Roots. Yeah, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you so much. I love you. Yeah. So, um, man, do you want to play like another song? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do another song for you. Okay. Got this guitar here. Should I'll we? Uh, should we look at chat? Maybe someone wants to make a request, or do you just want? Yeah, freestyle? I'm checking it out right now. Um, hello, people. Looks like uh, we just got some some hello comments and stuff. So I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and do a single off the newest album. Fuck yeah. Fresh. The song's called Overlooked. He always sits at home, wondering what went wrong. Picking up his guitar, singing a brand new song. He goes to put it down, so life worked out this way. He may have money, but his dreams still fade away. And he gets more quiet every day. People don't know this, but her smile fades away. No one would think that this would be his end. It wouldn't if he'd only had a friend. She puts her makeup on, thinking it'll be the day. Daddy will notice her and things will go her way But she is wrong again, just like the times before She made me feel in love, but for him it's just a chore And she gets more quiet every day People don't notice, but our smiles fade away No one would think that this would be their end it wouldn't if she'd only had a friend And we get more quiet every day People don't notice but us Chapter but the book Feeling 
things are mistook We are overlooked Yes, I fucking love it. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I'm going to link you up, uh, link up the group tomorrow with all of your social media uh, links. And uh, man, what's uh, what's the rest of the band been up to with all this going on? Um, so we, we've all been working back in Baltimore, um, you know, just trying to save that dough and then, you know, put all the dough into the album. But Fabrizio cooking pizzas. I'm at a pizza shop as well. Uh, Jacob. He's chilling, dude. He's writing. He's writing some of his own music. He's gonna release some as well. Wow. Okay. Um. After after we drop some of our album and well, drop our album, and then uh, Mike, who I don't know if you've met yet, but you were going to on the on the run before you know, the world ended. But uh, he he does guitar lessons and stuff like that. So we've been staying busy, and I've just been trying to do everything I can to still keep the band relevant and stuff. Like I feel like you work. You grind out, you know, all these years on the road, and then something like this happens. I'm just like, I'm not fucking letting anything happen to the to the name. You know, I can't let it die. Yeah, I gotta gotta keep the hype alive, and I've been trying to do that online instead. And it's all learning, learning fucking process, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, everything's so different right now, and you got your your I'm gonna call them your big brothers, uh, bumping uglies. Oh yeah. Are, are doing the the you know the nonstop drop? Um, oh, dude, keep, keep, a, keeping a it fresh idea. and real. So. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. I, I got to give you guys uh, mad props for, for sticking around through all this and, and, and muscling through it. Dude, I just hope to see your beautiful face in Chicago soon, man. That's, all I, that's all I hope and pray for coming out of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I fucking got you, Meryl. I, anytime you guys want to stay here, you know my home is always open to you. I'm going to cook you some bomb-ass food. Hell yeah, man. You know, likewise in Baltimore, bro. But yeah, I appreciate that. And just like uh, when you're here, uh, I may not want to fucking cook, and I'm just going to get you like a deep dish Chicago pizza. Hey, no but, no complaints with that. But when I go there, you know, get out that fucking Old Bay, bro. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, so uh, let me check chat real quick, and then uh, I think uh, oh, everyone's so fucking excited right now. This is amazing. What's going on? Mike Maxwell, hope to see you all in Pittsburgh. Hell yeah, bro. Hopefully some shows will be happening soon. But we'll see. Yeah, it's, give it some time. Let this all uh, happen naturally and organically. Exactly. It's, it's going to happen, man. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm, I'm always yeah, positive and optimistic. When the time comes, time comes for live shows to happen again. Totally yeah. Agree. So uh, enjoy your vacation, man. Thank you, bro. Are you uh, playing really any side gigs in, in St. Augustine? Dude, I'm just kicking it, man. I'm just uh, pretty much my goal this week was to come down here and relax after a stressful couple of months. I'm sure everyone has had, but also to to come back home to Baltimore with the album cover done and just it ordered and you know the copies on our way to the house. So that's that's you know really exciting. I'm I'm I'm, I'm hoping to end the vacation with that, where the copies are on the way to my house. <laughs> that's fucking sweet, man. All right, so. Uh... If anybody has anything else to ask Josh, can you hang out for like 30 more seconds? Hell yeah. Yeah. And by the way, um, just so you guys know, all the uh, musicians that I have on this show, um, they're not getting paid. They're doing this out of the kindness of their own hearts. And uh, I think that we should all give it up for them a lot. I mean, you know, man, just to come out here and, and play their music and, and share everything with you guys without getting paid for it is it's huge it, it's kind of a a testament to what they do and uh i don't know about you but i appreciate that so much dude um yeah also aj fucking murdered it i watched i watched the whole stream coming into it um so yeah this has been awesome thank you for including me in your family man like really lucky to be a part of this underground roots clothing like family it's awesome and you got you got a great you got a great thing going. I've told you that so many times before. I'm, I'm along for the ride, bro. You know, uh, actually, uh, Josh was the first uh, artist to actually endorse my product. So, I, you know, it's, it's kind of come full circle almost. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm still, Always, I'm still circling, bro. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done, man. I'm just I'm just getting started, man. I'm six <laughs> months old, six months old. And to see everyone rocking the merch 
is absolutely incredible. It's a great feeling. Dude, and, and then when, when live music comes back, bro, you know it's about to pop off even more. Everyone wearing your shirt. I'm telling you, man. And that, that feeling that you get when you come up on stage is probably almost equivalent to the feeling that I get when I, you know, see people wearing my merch. That's awesome, man. Fuck yeah. We're, Hell both, yeah. we're both artists in different ways. Definitely, man. So we're, I sincerely we're appreciate you. Do our thing, man. All right, man. Well, uh, go tr finish your Prosecco. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to post tomorrow all your links. Can you PM those to me or I'll figure them out yes, or whatever? Sir. All right, man. Oh. Well, thank you so much. You have enjoy the rest of your vacation, man. You're the fucking Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you for having me. All right, me, man. man. Take care.